Hey you guys, it's Melissa Westlake and welcome back to Wine with Mel. You guys, things are really starting to heat up here in LA, as you can tell by my outfit. It's getting to the point where the sun is just beaming down, there's zero clouds in the sky, and it's just really, really starting to feel like that desert heat weather. Uh, but of course you know that's not gonna stop us from going wine tasting. And I'm really, really excited about today's event. Phoenix and I actually attended this event last year and we had an absolute blast. That's right, we are attending the LA Wine Fest today. When I say that Phoenix and I had an absolute blast, from the second that we walked in, we were just like, whoa. I think that was my first ever outdoor wine tasting. Actually, I think it was my first ever wine tasting in LA in general. And they not only had wine vendors there, but they had all different types of vendors. There was food, there was clothes, there was jewelry. There, I, think, I even think there was like a holistic vendor there as well. They had a live band, they had games to play. As I mentioned before, Phoenix is going to be joining me. Oh, you guys know how much I love her. But also, our friend Tamika is going to be coming with us as well. Y'all are going to love her. She is hilarious. She's so much fun to be around. And you guys know how much I love to just like get together with my girlfriends and just have a really great time. I'm going to link her socials as well as Phoenix socials and Wine With Mel socials all in the description below. So be sure to give us all a follow. I am so beyond ready to get out of here and get going to the LA Wine Fest. I am going to be staying super hydrated today. It is my rule of thumb when day drinking, especially in the hot sun. With every glass of wine, I have a cup of water. You know, safety first, you guys, especially in this heat. But with that being said, I cannot wait to see what the LA Wine Fest brings this year. I'll see you guys there. Cheers. Okay, you guys. <laughs> We've made it finally to Long Beach. It was a telenovela to get here. I want to formally introduce you all to Miss Tamika. She's a blast, she's a ball. She's just a grand old time. <laughs> Are you excited today, Tamika? Oh my God. We're waiting on Phoenix. She's running a little bit behind. We're just gonna go in and kinda get started. So we'll see you in there. The first wine of the afternoon, and you know I was going straight for the chilled wine. This beautiful Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc was the best way to start it all off. With notes of citrus and peach, the flavors of pineapple, grapefruit, and lemon, it was the perfect way to cool off and get the festival started. Caribbean Soul Kitchen here in LA catered my birthday party and they're here at the LA Wine Fest. Stay tuned, I'm about to get so much food from them. Look who's here. One of my absolute favorites of the day had to be this Italian white wine. I learned that the founder and owner of Cita Vino was a dancer turned wine educator and she is absolutely killing it. The wines of which we tried were from Southern Italy and her site is filled by the curiosity of wine and its culture and bringing it to the people. Tommy Lasorda is known as a baseball hall of famer and now his signature wine label is leaving just as big of a mark. Another one of my favorites from this festival, the notes of herbs, ginger, and sandalwood and flavors of cranberry, dark chocolate, and strawberry left me in complete awe of how delicious this red blend was.
EKP Creations is an exhibitor that was so unique and so one of a kind. Husband and wife Emiliano and Carrie make these unique candles where they repurpose wine bottles and turn them into candles. Every bottle is made by hand. I am so excited to burn this baby in the house. And that is an actual run. Year two at the LA Wine Fest. Tamika, how did you love it? Oh, thank you for joining us. Oh, she got some goodies. Phoenix, darling. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Cheers.